27 years ago, Fort Vancouver High School won the state title in baseball. A reminder of that moment still hangs on the press box, peeling away like a fading memory. Today's players don't think about past glory, they think about the simple joys of the game. I love the atmosphere, uh, spitting seeds, chewing gum, I like, I like playing in the field, hitting, all that, it's all fun. It's not fun to lose though, and that's been a common theme for Fort in recent years. One, two, three, Service. Coach Owen Frazier is working to turn that around. For us, it's just been about, you know, trying to, to start with small successes. Um, you know, whether that's just having everybody with a uniform ready to play in a game. And it seems weird and sounds kind of silly, but at the end of the day, those are the kinds of things we started with. Um, and now we're at the point where we go out expecting to win every game that we play. The Trappers are making progress and have met several major goals this year. But no single coach or player can do it alone. Enter Tim Crownover. Baseball has been a part of my life from um, all my life. Two years ago, Coach Crownover, whose day job is pastor at the Gathering Place Church, reached out to Coach Frazier. We, we met, I saw his resume and was like, this is a guy that I need to talk to that's offering to come help. Crownover played college and professional baseball and was a head coach in Idaho before moving to Vancouver. A few years out of the game, he felt the urge to coach again. It's kind of what I'm designed to do, you know, so I'm not real happy unless I'm doing it. Reaching out is part of his church's philosophy. We enjoy being engaged in, in community. And uh, there's just nothing better than getting to know your neighbors. For these young students of the game, an experienced mentor is invaluable. He's helped me as a pitcher, much like, like pitching, like, like the technique, the pitches, and just the mental side of pitching. Coach Crownover didn't come to Ford alone. Tim had mentioned that at one of our games, he just felt like we needed some more butts in the seats. Suddenly, church members began showing up at games, dressed in red, cheering for the trappers. So it's nice having people that aren't just like parents, that are like, kind of like required to be here. It's nice to have that, and actually people cheering you on. It's not just moral support, it's financial. Forts Field is next to the school district's bus barn, and foul balls often ended up over the locked fence. The solution, a batting cage. And it's something that pretty much every baseball program has, uh, but they're expensive. Church members raised $3,000, which, combined with school and booster funds, paid for a new cage. It's something that I think has instilled a lot of pride in our kids. Yeah. The pride is obvious. The wins are starting to come. And it's a bit of a cliche, but it's true. What's happening at Fort is bigger than just sports. We're doing more than just teaching baseball. We're teaching young men to be contributing, uh, contributing citizens to community. Uh, we're, we're teaching them how to, how to persevere in tough times in life, how to work through problems, how to work together, um, how to be a part of a productive team. I think that's all, those are all critical to life. 